And then there was a time my family and I, we were flying from Jacksonville, where we live now, not far from here, and we were going to Maine. First time ever going to Maine. We're connecting in the Philadelphia airport. And I tell you this story because I think it's a great analogy for your leadership in the course of a year in 2013. So we're connecting in Philly. We arrive an hour and a half late. We landed in Terminal A, and we're leaving from Terminal F. And I know in the Philly airport you have to connect at C16, which is really far from A. You get to C16, you then have to take a bus shuttle, which then takes you to F. I look at the screen, we only have 10 minutes to make our connecting flight. I'm thinking there's no way we're gonna make it, but we gotta go for it. So I look at my wife and kids. My kids were eight and 10 at the time. I said, all right guys, let's start running. And there we are now, running through the airport. Those who travel here, have you noticed more people running through airports? Okay, on your way home, I want to encourage you to do what I do. Next time you see someone run by you, I want you to cheer them on. <laughs> I do, I cheer people on all the time. The other day, this woman was running by me. I said, go, 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 I believe in you, you can do it. <laughs> you could tell, she hadn't run a long time. She was really doing her best. And she ran by me like this. <laughs> now, I don't always get that response. <laughs> I was in uh, LaGuardia, New York, and I cheered this guy on. He gave me the finger. <laughs> but I turned a negative into a positive. I said, that's right, you're number one. <laughs> so that was us now. We're running through this airport. Huffing and puffing. It's really far from A to C16. Finally, we get to C16, and there are no bus shuttles there when we arrive. Look at the watch. Five minutes to make our connecting flight. There's a woman who was handling all the buses. I said, how long did the buses get here? She said, four minutes. So my kids start crying. We're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. I turned to my kids. I said, guys, you have to stay positive. You have to believe. We're going to make it. I'm telling you, we're going to make it. I turned to the woman. I said, we're going to make it, right? She said, you ain't going to make it. <laughs> Finally, the bus arrives, we get on the bus, we get to Terminal F, it's the last gate now. So now we're, we're sprinting down Terminal F. I left my wife and kids in the dust. I was getting on that plane with or without them. And just as I arrived, guess what happened? They slammed the door right in my face. I said, man, my wife and kids are in their way thinking that would help. She said, I'm sorry, sir, there's nothing I can do. I said, you don't understand, we have all these plans, all the other flights are booked, we'll have to stay overnight, it will ruin everything, we have to get on this flight. She said, I'm sorry sir, the plane is pushing back, look. My wife and kids arrived in that moment, we walked to the big window, we see the small plane and it's pushing back, and we're just all dejected as we're watching it push back. But then as we're watching the plane, we realize that we can see into the cockpit. And then we realize that we can see the pilots. <laughs> we realize that they can see us, we make eye contact. So my wife and kids start jumping up and down, waving to the pilots. <laughs> About a minute later, the door opens, a woman comes out, she says, it worked. <laughs> yep. She said, they're gonna let you on the plane. We're all excited, we walk down the stairs, on the tarmac, they stopped the plane. The passengers weren't very positive. We take off, we land, another miracle occurred, our luggage made it too. <laughs> 10 minutes in Philly, a true miracle, our luggage made it from one end to the next. So now we're driving away in the rental car and I thought, you know, this is a great teachable moment for my kids. I said, you know, so guys, what'd you learn from this experience? I think they're gonna say, you know, dad, I wanna stay positive, I want to believe. <laughs> my eight year old said, so you know, dad, I want to just keep running. <laughs> but when he said it, I said, you know, there's a lot of truth to that. I turned to my wife, I said, you know what? That's one of the keys to leadership. That's one of the keys to success. It's about the fact that we just keep running through our challenges. We stay positive and we never give up. You as the positive leader have such an impact on your team. Your optimism, your belief, your positive energy is contagious. And your positive energy must be greater than all the negativity you face. Your certainty, your belief, your faith in what you're here to do and the difference you're here to make must be greater than all the doubt.